Hey everyone, it's Ben here, and today we are going to be painting up one of the Infernus Marines from the Leviathan box set, and we're going to be doing it in this grimy, grimdark Blood Angel scheme with some nice volumetric highlighting. So to start things off, uh, we're just going to prime the model black. I'm using Vallejo Model Air Black through the airbrush. And then you can see here, what we're going to do is basically create a column of light on the left-hand side of the model as we look at it, and then shadow on the right. And that's going to be repeated on the back as well. And so to do this, we're going to start off with Vallejo Game Air Gory Red. And we're going to give the whole model like a thin coat of it. And then we're going to build up some thicker coats on the areas where we want the highlights here, as you can see on the left-hand side. Next up, we're going to go in with some Vallejo Bloody Red, which is a highlight color. So here we're going to just concentrate on that column of light and we should start to really see some contrast between the shadows and the lights of the model. You might want to hit some of the surfaces from the shadow side, which are aiming towards the light, uh, but only hit them really lightly. This will just help to sell the effect. And the idea behind this effect is to draw the eye into the model. The next highlight colour we're going to use is Citadel Wild Rider Red and we're going to take this out of the pot into this mixing little dish here. We're going to add some airbrush thinner, mix it up and we're going to aim for sort of this consistency. It's hard to describe consistency in a video because what do you say to people to try and describe a consistency? I suppose it's a little bit like milk. Um, it's thicker than water but you know it's not, it's not as thick as cream I suppose. You can see here anyway what you're aiming for. And with this, we're only going to try and hit the um, sort of higher edges or the upwards facing edges of our highlight area. So we're just really aiming for that, that one column of light and we're just going to try and spray it from above. Once we've done that, we're going to give the model a coat with MIG Ultra Matte Varnish and this is going to give it a really nice finish to the model and then we're going to apply our transfers, like we've done here. After that, we're going to black in any of the areas of the armor, which, well, pretty much anything that isn't the red armor. So that's the gun, the uh, armor seals, the aquila, the shoulder trim. The only things you want to avoid really are purity seals and also any leather areas, because we're going to go over those later. Oh, I'm using Vallejo model color black here, which is just a nice, it gives a really nice coverage and it's a nice matte finish too. At this point, you could probably call the model battle ready. Um, maybe you'd want some extra definition in there, which you can do a little bit later with the, well, with one of the steps that are coming up. So to, now to take the model a step further, we're going to edge highlight any of the areas in the light column that we talked about in the start of the video. So we're using Skaven Blight Dinge and we've loaded up a brush and we're just using the edge of the tip of the brush to do this. I'm going to really gently just slide it along those edge edges to really make those highlights pop. If you're enjoying the video guys, please give it a like and subscribe to the channel, it really helps. And if you want to support me even further, there is now my Patreon, uh, where we've got behind the scenes footage, so you can see the whole unedited video of this. I will also have things like mini giveaways every month, there's also one-to-one -one tuition if you really want to go down that route with me, and uh, yeah, a bunch of other stuff. Uh, there's a link in the description below, and I would really appreciate it if you checked it out. We're also going to highlight the Aquila here. Uh, so. We're aiming towards where the light hits it, so we're just going on the left hand side as, as we look at it. To make the edge highlights pop even more, we're going in with Dawnstone here, and we're not covering the whole area that we did in the previous step, but we're just going to hit the areas which are focusing more towards the light. You might want to hit any like little rivets and stuff like that. I missed that and went back on it in a minute. So for the muzzle of this gun, we're using Vallejo Metal Color Copper. And these paints are really, really nice. They've got amazing coverage. Uh, they're really fluid. 
but because of that fluidity you want to probably not use your best brush with this because the paint can run up into the ferrule of the brush and can ruin them pretty quickly uh, but the coverage is well worth it they uh, they go on so nicely and they look really nice when they're finished uh, after we've applied a few washes and bits and pieces to them and uh, yeah as you can see in the video it, they cover so good we're also going to use some lead belcher from citadel and just pick out some details on the gun here too and here's that step that i went back in and did some of the edge highlights on these little rivets here After that, we're going to give all the metallics a little wash with Norn Oil. Now we're going to panel line the armor. So here I've got a panel liner brush from MIG, and it's got this some really mad long bristles. We're going to start by putting it into some enamel thinner and knock the excess off, and then just load it up with black enamel wash from MIG. And this is just going to flow into any recesses or sort of divots and dinks anything like that in the armor really really nicely so all we do is we just touch the brush to those places and you can see it flows straight from the brush into them and also the excess is going to really play into our sort of grimy grimdark feel and the black and the red just look really nice together for a blood angel scheme we're going to go around hit all the recesses in the armor uh, this is probably the the one step which i would say is the most important in getting our grimdark look if you do go a bit heavy with the wash, you can go in with a synthetic brush and some enamel thinner and just erase any areas where uh, you've gone a bit hard. Once you've finished with that, you can hit it with a hot hairdryer and that'll just uh, dry the enamels up really, really quickly. We're going to paint the leather areas with a coat of Wildwood from Citadel. And then we're going to add some weathering with some Rhinox hide. So we're just going to use this to create any sort of chips or scratches or sort of muddy like grime stains and i'm not staying saying the word streaking grime but that's basically what we're doing here but just with acrylics so we're just going to really carefully sort of start in um any start in a recess like high up on the model and then just really carefully trail the brush down to create those streaks you can see here like start at the top of the helmet in that little crease there and then just do a couple of dots and then really carefully trail it down to create that streak. You can do that in any area like that. For the purity seal, we're also going to coat the parchment with Rhinox hide, and then we're going to highlight it with Bane Blade Brown. For the wax bit, we're just going to paint that with Pink Horror and then give it a wash with Caribou Crimson. We're going to add some weathering to the muzzle here, and we're just going to use Seraphim Sepia, uh, Drucci Violet, and Draken Half Nightshade. We're just going to sort of apply the washes going up towards the front of the uh, the muzzle here and you don't have to be particularly careful with these, just sort of whack them on. Try and sort of blend them together a little bit uh, so that they sort of form this nice like weathering effect once they've dried. For the eyes, uh, we're using a different model here because I messed up the recording. We're going to start by painting them black and then we're going to paint the middle part of the eye in wire flesh. Basically just leave a little bit of black on the outside. Then we're going to add in some moot green into the wild flesh, and we're just going to paint within that the previous step. And then we're going to paint within that with straight up moot green, and then we're going to paint a tiny little line within that with ice yellow from Vallejo. And then to really sell the eye lens effect, we're just going to put a tiny white dot in this back corner here. For the base, uh, this is a little bit out of focus, so apologies for that. But we're using a Vallejo European Thick Mud. I just get that all over the base and a little bit of the legs and feet. And then we're going to dip it into this uh, part of scatter. Uh, this is Arid Earth from Rival Crafts. Just dip it in there, knock any loose bits off. Then you can add some like tufts and bits and pieces if you really want to. I've just added one little tuft here. And then we're going to slap on some enamels. So we're going to use Dark Mud. And we're going to apply this in big splotches to about 50% of the base and to some of the bottom of the legs. 
The good thing with enamels is that they blend in really, really well together. So the next step, we're going to use some fresh mud, which is a slightly different uh, sort of earthy color. And we're going to splodge that onto the other 50% of the base. So what it's going to do is going to create a really nice, natural looking muddy base. Uh, those enamels do blend so well together because of their, their properties and the way they work. Um, so yeah, just apply that to the other 50% of the base and to the lower legs and you'll get a really nice effect. And then the final step is to get some Kursk soil, which is a sort of a yellowy, lighter colored mud. And we're just gonna apply little bits and dabs here and there over the top. And again, this is gonna blend in really nicely into the previous colors, but it's gonna create some nice little highlights and contrast in there. The last thing to do is to paint the base room black and that is it. I hope you really enjoyed the video everyone. I really enjoyed making it. Uh, I love this scheme. I can fully see myself painting a lot more of these in the near future. If you did like the video, please give it a like and subscribe. And I want to say thank you to my patrons who are already support me as they are. And if there are any more that would like to join and support me, that would be absolutely epic. And I would be forever in your debts. Uh, you can check me out on Patreon, it's um, patreon.com slash Ben's Painting, or there's a link in the description below. Uh, there's also some affiliate links to the paints that I've used in this video, so if you want to buy any of those, uh, you can do so through those links, and it won't cost you anything extra, but it does help support me and the channel. Thank you very much everyone, I uh, hope you all enjoy painting your Grimdark Blood Angels, or whatever, you know, scheme you decide to use for your little Vython boxes. Thanks very much, and we'll see you next time. Bye!